Hi you guys, welcome to Season That Ish. This is a new channel that I created to protest all things bland, okay? We are seasoning everything. Today I am making some really, really quick and easy, creamy, delicious sausage pasta. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw up some of the ingredients that you're going to need so you have an idea of what we're going to be using. It's really simple, really easy, but we're making sure that it tastes bomb. First rule in making pasta, you need to make sure you season your water. So you need to put a generous amount of salt into that boiling pasta water. Rule number two, do not put oil into your boiling pasta water. The oil is just going to make the pasta noodles or shells, whatever you're using, slippery. So the sauce that we're making later will have a harder time sticking to it. You want your sauce to stick to your pasta, so please, 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 do not add oil to your pasta water. Who came up with that? I don't know. Rule number three, cook your pasta al dente. Do not overcook your pasta because it's gonna go ahead and finish cooking in the sauce that we're about to make later. Nobody wants mushy noodles. Okay, so I drained my pasta and put it to the side and I started browning my sweet Italian sausage. Now, I'm using the same pot, honestly, just because I didn't feel like getting another pot dirty. But obviously, if you are low on time, you can have your sauce going in the back and your pasta boiling at the same time to cut on time. But look at how nicely that sausage is browning. It is so delicious. Next, I'm going to be adding some um, garlic basil pasta sauce. And to that, I'm going to go ahead and grate in some garlic. There's already a little garlic in the pasta sauce, but we want more flavor. And I also just don't trust the amount of garlic flavor that's in there. So we're adding our own. The next thing I'm going to do is add in about half the amount of evaporated milk to pasta sauce. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of chicken seasoning, some paprika, and some Italian seasoning. I'm gonna mix that all up, bring it up to show you, and pretty much what I'm going to do is let this simmer for a while and let the sauce thicken up because we want some thick sauce on our pasta, okay? You'll see a lot of recipes call for either milk, regular milk, or heavy cream, or half and half, but I really like the flavor that the canned evaporated milk gives the sauce. Be careful though, be careful not to get the sweet condensed milk because then you will just end up with a dessert pasta and that would not be good for anybody. Ooh, look at that zoom in. Um, that won't be good for anybody. So please make sure that you're getting the evaporated kind and not the condensed kind. Okay, great. And if all of that wasn't decadent enough, we're gonna be adding some Swiss cheese to the mix. What really would have set it off? Man, if I had some Gruyere cheese, is that how you pronounce it? Am I saying it right? I don't know. But if I had some of that, that would have taken it over the edge. But unfortunately, I only had the sliced kind, so that had to do. I added in my pasta um, that I had drained earlier. And as you can see, the sauce has gotten much thicker. It is sticking well to the pasta because we didn't add what? Oil. We didn't add oil to our pasta water. So all of the sauce is sticking beautifully to the pasta. The big chunks of sausage mixed in with that beautiful cream sauce. Y'all, it was so freaking good.
Now to top everything off, I'm just going to finish it with some Parmesan cheese and some parsley flakes on top. So thank you for sticking with me through this video. I hope you subscribe and check out my other videos. I made some really good honey garlic glazed chicken the other day. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Thank you so much and you guys have a great day. Don't forget to season that ish. Bye.